every single celebrity and every single athlete and every single person that contributes to society in some way, when their output is good, people will rush to immediately save them. I am a firm believer that you don't really ever get canceled unless you just stop making good hits. I have no statements on JPEG Mafia linking up with Kanye, who's literally wearing a Burzum shirt, okay? For those of you who are asking. Yeah, I got no takes on that. This is skinny white boy 911. Heard you like Burzum. Yeah, friend of the show, Peggy. Look, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything, okay? Just use Fantano's take on it. What did he say? Oh, perfect. What did Anthony Fantano say? I agree with whatever he said. The shirt of a neo-Nazi band? No, they are, they are Nazis, yeah. Oh, well, they're, not they, the guy is, the main guy, Varg, is a Nazi. I guess the guy he stabbed might not have been a Nazi, I assume. It's, Peggy has talked a lot his whole career about how much he loves Kanye. Burzum is just one guy, Varg Vikernis, and he's a Nazi. No, I thought Burzum was like, the guy he stabbed actually had left his tendencies. That would make sense. Varg's child was in the school I was teaching in, in here in France. That's crazy. I'm sure he's not, his child is not you know, like him. Peggy saying he's been a Kanye fan forever would make this less disappointing if he didn't rap about hating the alt-right and literally Varg on like all of his albums. Yeah. JPEG Mafia linking up with Kanye is the pitchfork version of Bernie's response to Israel. That was mayhem. Burgum is Varg's band. Oh, Burzum. Burzum. Varg's daughter, she dates a black guy. So yeah, she is not a Nazi. I said Burgum because Burgomania still lives inside of me. Tell Peggy to stop. He's a whole ass adult, man. I'm not touching that at all, okay? Anthony the Fantano. Peggy already told you all his heroes are cornballs. You were constantly talking about how problematic Kanye is because of these Nazi-related shit he's doing, but when your favorite left-wing rapper who literally dissed Varg hang out with Kanye who wears a Burzum shirt, you're completely silent. Come on, don't act like you didn't see. Still interesting not to criticize Peggy for hanging out with Ye when you've been so outspoken but about yes, bigotry, and other people who support him. I think these guys just hate Anthony Fantano specifically because he like rated their favorite album a lower score than they wanted him to. And now they're just like, actually, I personally don't give a shit about Kanye or JPEG Mafia. I just want Anthony Fantano to look bad and suffer. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it's a it's an interesting conversation to have with him asking him about like what is going on in his mind in that situation. Like, what is he? What does he choose to gain out of that specifically because he was trying to link up for a minute and i know he like obviously idolizes kanye west kanye got more clout yeah except here's the thing i feel like jpeg mafia peggy has has had a, a a lot of opportunities i feel like he's had a lot of opportunities for clout but his whole thing is that like he doesn't care you know what i mean it's not like he is um it's actually funny because it was kanye who wanted to link up so if you met kanye west you wouldn't take a picture with him um I don't think I would meet with Kanye West. Like, I don't think I would have the opportunity to, but I wouldn't like, it's not something I would seek out. And I, you know, he has a 10 minute compilation of him glazing yay in interviews. You really think it's interesting? You just want drama in the feed. I'm going to pressure, I'm going to pre presume you listen to Peggy's lyrics and aren't so stupid. You need the 180 explained to you right now at this very second in the bird app. I'm writing a bruiser wolf review. Yeah. Peggy was mad dissing Kanye on the timeline like a week ago, arguing with fans. He's trolling, promoting his new album. He's a rapper. People need to chill. Bad jacketing Kanye is dumb lip shit. Bad jacketing Kanye? Are you insane? What are you talking about, bro? At that point, it's like, yeah, no, he's like 1,000. Bro, he said Hitler was a good guy. Like, I'm sorry. Like, that's nuts, okay? There's a difference. What do you mean bad jacketing? First of all, the, the fact that you used the term jacketing implies that, like, your worldview is so far removed from anything Kanye has said. At any given point, what are you talking about? <laughs> Bad jacket with a jacket got a swastika on it. Yeah. This is why I I talk about like Western world anti-Semitism versus like uh anti-Semitism in other parts of the world and philo-Semitism, like we dove into yesterday. Okay. Kanye West 100 percent knows better. Like it's nuts. A bad jacket, but it's a Hugo Boss jacket. Yeah, it's a jacket. Made by Hugo Boss, you know, at a time frame that it's not, at a time frame when it was inappropriate. Yeah, and also, uh, like, Kanye wearing the Burzum uh, shirt in that situation is quite literally an extension, a continuation of him being like, I'm a Nazi, what are you going to do about it? So that's, like, pretty funny. Because, like, even in the photo, he's literally flexing, dog. What, what do you mean? 
it's not because he's like a super fan of fucking Burzum. It's because he knows that uh, Varg is a Nazi. That's nuts. That so, <laughs> Bro, he said, I love Hitler. Come on, guys. Please, please, please. It's funny because both uh, me and Anthony Fantano are both a uh, 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 Peggy fans and friends. Yeah, JPEG Mafia himself is like, uh, I think, also shit on uh, Burzum too. He's a mentally ill troll, but let's be honest, he became a soft target for libs who want to exercise their pent-up racial aggression. You can criticize his words and actions while still recognizing how inappropriate a lot of the treatment is. No, I, I would say that about Kyrie, or, uh, but I would not say that about Kanye. There is a very real, okay, no, listen, here's the thing, that what this chatter is saying, I assume you're black, by the way, because this is like, um, this is like very much, this is like a correct take that uh, I rarely ever hear from liberals, but not applied to Kanye in my, in my, in my honest estimation, okay? Here's the thing. Liberals do like going heavy-handed on black people exercising the same kind of bigotries that you see from white people because it almost sometimes feels like it gives them a permission to shit on a black person, a concept that actually sometimes black liberals even play into by writing articles about, like, um, the, the aggressiveness of black men or how... Homophobia is a problem within the black community for straight black men, and we have to talk about it. This kind of argument, this kind of dynamic, absolutely, I'm Jewish and white. Oh, never mind. That was weird. I'm shocking that you're uh, so tapped in to, to this dynamic that I'm talking about as a white Jewish guy who is defending Kanye West's anti-Semitism. But okay, Black Dar is off. Yeah, this is a two for two today that I was wrong. But anyway, here's the point. Okay, Kanye supporters are actually crazy. I think so. Um, there is a very real, there is a very real argument for how hard uh, sometimes liberals like to go, um, how hard sometimes liberals like to go on on black men in particular, as a way to just like as a as a way to to you know unload maybe some other uh, racial hangups that they might have. Okay, can you elaborate further? The greatest example I'm giving you is when people talk about homophobia, the homophobia of black men, okay? It's almost like a liberal way of reigniting the violent black man, the aggressive violent black man racial stereotype, but from a liberal perspective, okay? Something I've talked about quite a bit. All black men are uh, homophobic. Black men are anti-women, you know, black men are this, black men are transphobic, this kind of shit. That's why I think, like, it's a, that is a good example for Kyrie in particular. You know, wrong place, wrong time. You call that liberal? Yes. Yes. Because Republicans, conservatives, don't fucking care about uh, uh, black people not being woke or whatever. They just say black people are, are inferior in many different ways. Liberals, on the other hand... Who, uh, who claim to be progressive or, or whatever, will oftentimes greatly overemphasize homophobia in the black community as though it's like a unique subsect, okay? Here, I'll give you another example. I'll give you another example in reverse, not in reverse directly, but like people that say that all Jews are Zionist, okay? If you look at the demographic breakdown of Zionism versus anti-Zionism amongst the Jewish population in the United States of America, despite the fact that the Jewish population obviously is heavily propagandized to by, uh, you know, like other Zionist groups, that demographic breakdown is nearly identical to the rest of the American population, okay? Think, 51% of... Jews in the United States of America that are under the age of like, I think 35 are anti-Zionist. That is an almost identical, that is an almost identical percentage, maybe a little bit lower, but almost an identical percentage to that same demographic across the board for every single non-Jewish subsect of the population in the United States of America. Obviously it's, it gets higher if you look at like different Muslim groups, right? Anti-Zionism versus Zionism, but it's not that far off base. 
So the assumption, the underlying assumption that like all Jews are Zionist is a little weird. Is, is, it's a generalization that comes across, in my opinion, as like a touch, maybe on an ill-informed, okay? Also, beyond that, as far as like, I'm not defending Kanye West. Um, I wasn't defending Kanye West at all. I was actually specifically talking about like, the conversation deviated away into like, uh, how sometimes, back when the Discord server had the BIPOC channel, many black folks were the most vocal about homophobia in the black community just saying. Yes, you're talking about the BIPOC Discord server. Okay, you're talking about Discord. What percentage of any American is actually using Discord? Like, let alone black people. Anyway, the concept I was defending, of course, was not even about um, Kanye West in particular. It has nothing to do with Kanye West. I was just talking about a concept that that chatter brought up about like how sometimes um, liberals will... Uh, masquerade as progressives while simultaneously really laying into black people uh, and making it seem as though like homophobia is a unique problem to the black community or anti-semitism is a unique problem to the black community or whatever uh, is a unique any form of bigotry is a unique problem to the black community and the reality is it's not it's not at all it is just another way to i guess try and and reinforce uh, some kind of anti-black narrative. But having said all of that, for Kanye West, no such, uh, you know, the, the, the pile on, I don't believe is, 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 uh, valid to say is happening to Kanye West. <laughs> Hassan, do you play league? Oyasumi Lumi says, Mons, can we ban this guy? I agree. Apparently, and I can't wait to watch this shit. Kanye West apparently made a 40-minute apology video to Jewish people, which I think is dope. I'm sure it'll be fucking insane. We are in agreement, and I want to emphasize that I wasn't at all trying to defend his anti-Semitism, just that black celebs are under a microscope for that sort of thing. All these chatters saying I'm a guy and a Kanye fan are way off base. Well, you know, we, we do see a lot of, uh, we used to see a lot of dick riding of that sort back in the day. I think many of the Kanye West fans have just kind of dropped it at this point. Look, I've said this already. I've said this already. Folks, if his next album, Vultures, is a banger, everyone will forgive him. Every single celebrity and every single athlete and every single person that contributes to society in some way, when their output is good... People will rush to immediately save them. That's it. I am a firm believer that you don't really ever get canceled unless you just stop making good hits. The same goes for even someone like myself. Okay. Valid or not valid. Attacks don't actually, attacks don't actually fucking uh, take away from um, my commentary. Okay. Or, or eat away at my audience or anything. What takes away from my commentary is me relentlessly focusing on it and making mid-content. That's just the truth. Which I do feel like I sometimes uh, lately have done that. I hope that Peggy can change Kanye. Be a guy who got canceled by Fox News a few years ago and ain't made a banger since. Yeah.